One final point about the main protagonist from uh, Squid Game, the actor. That show did a fucking great job turning a good-looking man into a piece of shit. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with this. <laughs> Welcome to The Worst Asian Podcast, where two Asian-American millennials give you our shitty opinions on all things Asian. My name is Linji, and I'm here with my co-host, Ben. Uh, hi. What's up, man? <laughs> Today's a bit strange. This is really strange. This is really strange. We are recording remotely. Normally, we record at my place mm. in front of each other, but today, mm -hmm. we don't have that privilege. We are recording via Zoom. Yes. Um, Linji's a... Uh via satellite via uh, hawaii i believe i'm in hawaii i'll put a snippet of this zoom call up on uh, on instagram and social media if you want to take a look even with quarantine and everything you and i are not very good at zoom no we're terrible at this this took like at least an hour on, on my side everyone's like a zoom expert these days but you in the restaurant in the industry and me having having no job and no <laughs> need to uh zoom call anybody i think yeah. we're just trying to figure all this out we got to put it on a resume now it's like oh where's a uh, zoom masters is that what they call them? Zoom Master? Is that what you want to call it? Yeah. Uh, I also know how to use the McDonald's uh, prompt when I'm ordering my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, we are both feeling a bit sick, a bit under the weather. So just for everyone's sake, we decided to try this remotely. Yes. Normally, we might say we could skip a week or so, but, you know, fuck our health. We got to stay consistent. Got to keep that schedule going. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing this for you, our fellow listeners. So if our voices sound a little bit different, it's probably in part two. Uh, being remote, maybe figuring out the soundscape here is not that well. And the fact that we're both a bit under the weather. I hope I didn't uh, get you sick. That would be uh, terrible. Yeah, I don't know. I'll feel, you know, now you brought it to Hawaii. <laughs> I just realized I'm going to have to edit out a lot of coughing. Oh, shit. You think so? Yeah, so don't cough. Don't cough. Just breathe. Just breathe that oxygen. Breathe that fresh Hawaiian air. You know, maybe my voice this week will sound a lot deeper. Yours too. Even deeper. I guess the big point of it is uh, I've been feeling like shit. Please try to, you know, social distance. I'm much better now. This Omicron thing, it's pretty serious. Take some vitamin C. Stay away from people if you can. Do you believe in that vitamin C stuff? Man, dude, I sent you that thing with uh, oregano oil. And you're like, what on God's earth did you send me? You're like, what is this yeah, hocus pocus <sighs> stuff? Ben sent me some weird shit where oregano oil is supposed to help with your with your cold symptoms. Yeah. Like a real hippie kind of That's vibe. That's right, baby. So they take like hundreds of pounds of oregano and they like boil it down. You know, they just try to extract the oil. Where is that shit? So this is it. Not a sponsor of ours, but oil of oregano. Oil of oregano. This is definitely some pseudoscience there. So try not to try not to taint our listeners with your with your weird hocus pocus. Hey, man, for, for all you people that, you know, fuck with, like, acupuncture, they're probably, oh, I know that one. Acupuncture is proven, isn't it? No, isn't it's like not. like science science? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Just like chiropractor? No. Acupuncture is one of those things where, let's say, it's developed it's in the East, and they don't know why it works, but they kind of reverse engineer why it works. Right There's here. a reason why it works, right? No. <laughs> you're, so, you're so triggered That's right bullshit. now. <laughs> So, I've never so gotten triggered. acupuncture, but I was kind of looking forward to getting it one day. Don't ruin that for me. Yo, I, yo, my my mom's and dad's best friends are like they're like acupuncturists, dude. There was one time where I definitely fractured my ankle and like it started bruising. Oh, do you remember like we had a barbecue at your yeah. place and your wife? She's a she's a registered nurse and she looked at my ankle. She was like, "Yo, bro, I think you need to get an X ray." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> remember, it was like it was purple, it was swollen. Yeah, and I was like, ah, it's just swollen. She's like, no, I think you got to get it checked out. I'm like, shh, come on, yo. But then before that, I remember I was getting acupuncture. And the guy, they take the needles, they, you know, acupuncture, right? And it feels good. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. It feels good. But I'm just like thinking, I'm like, all right, like, explain this, bro. Let's say, say, hypothetically, you sprain your ankle, right? Okay. I'm talking about acupuncture for like physical ailments, not more like gastrointestinal stuff. That I, I can't disagree with you on that. That might be real, but... People will think like, oh, you broke your bone. And just because you pinned some needles into your ankle. Dude, no one is saying acupuncture. I don't know why I'm trying to defend <laughs> acupuncture so much right now. <laughs> I feel personally offended because you're not because you don't believe in acupuncture, but uh -huh. I don't think acupuncture is supposed to like stitch your bones back together. That's not <laughs> the point of it. 
Okay, then maybe my my mom and dad just like over uh <laughs> they like they overused the idea of it. They're like, yeah, your your shoulders dislocated. Yeah, you could just uh acupuncture. acupuncture. I do believe in like what's that thing called? Um, Pseudo science. I do believe in. No, I don't believe in pseudoscience. I do believe in like the placebo effect. I think that's scientifically proven, right? If you somehow mentally think something is working to a certain extent, it does have some tangible effect on your body. Yeah. So gurgle as much oregano oil as long as it's making you feel better. Watch, bro. I'm gonna. You're gonna be like sick or whatever. I'm just gonna put some of this without you knowing. You're gonna be like, first of all, you're gonna be like, why are you in my house? <laughs> and then second, all you're about, whoa, that thing's actually working. Get this shit out of my coffee. I <laughs> get this shit out of my coffee. Do you know those people that drink coffee with with butter? Yeah, those uh, keto morons. I'm yeah, joking. it's like <laughs> we got a lot of friends that are like trying to do keto. Actually, I, uh, specifically, we have one friend that tries to do keto and fails. Yes, you know who you are. I bet you he's listening to <laughs> us right now in his car. He's like, "That's not factual." He's like our number one super fan, our fact checker. There was that one time we did that sports episode, and then we said oh, Michelle yeah. Kwan was Chinese. <laughs> no, no, we said she was Korean. <laughs> Yeah. Our friend literally pauses the podcast, calls me up and says, dude, she's Chinese. <laughs> literally stops mid-podcast listening and just calls us up to like fact check us. That's the peak. That just shows you what this podcast is all about. He's the only subscriber that we have on OnlyFans. Yes, thank you. Well, uh, we have we have uh, packages. We have you know the Bronx, silver, and then the gold. And then we'll, we're gonna we're gonna think about the platinum package. We still don't know yet. You sound like you know what you're talking about. You know it, man. For the brand. Okay. Okay. We're here today. We're doing this remote thing because we had to. Normally, I would just pump out some random episode that we had on the backlog, but poor timing for both of us to get sick. It is the end of 2021, and we wanted to do a year in review episode. So it's like a very timely thing that we had to do. So we are here. We hope you appreciate this. We would appreciate it if you uh, took your phone out, slid to the bottom of it, and left us a five-star review. Please, five star. You can now leave reviews on Spotify. Her, that's a brand new thing. So go for it. Literally just started it yesterday. Yeah, I was gonna say Spotify should be having that. They should have been five stars. Let's get into it. <clears throat> okay, remember we are sick, so if we're coughing a little bit, and I don't want to edit it out. I'm sorry, I'm just too lazy, and we have to constantly stay hydrated today. Oh shit, that's that's really hot water. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're out there and you're listening to this uh we apologize if the audio is a little bit weird this week if like the timing is a little bit weird because you know there is that lag from zoom calls and whatnot yes that is true in case we're both sound a bit nasally don't worry we cannot pass on our germs through your earbuds or through the speakers okay 2020 2022 20, what, the, what the fuck okay 2021, 2021 that's the last year right still yes 2021 was a great year to be Asian, a great year for the Asian community in general. But we want to start things off with talking about the greatest of all accomplishments this year. Yeah. Our podcast. Give me your gun to your head elevator feelings. Oh my God, please don't, don't touch me. Um, I would say I was thinking back about how when we first started, just the idea mm -hmm. of like we got 10 downloads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, was like, like half of it was crap. us but you were like doing the math you're like you know technically some of it's us but at the same time technically is that at least two to three people are actual new <laughs> listeners real life human beings that's like a 20 30 percent chance so that's like almost having like a 300 batting average for all you baseball aficionados yeah we've been live or on air if you want to say what we've been months? on air for two and a half months now roughly because right. we're on episode 10 11 ish we're gonna we're gonna like it has felt much longer maybe because i'm the one doing all the editing yeah that's that's literally the reason why bro <laughs> <laughs> you're like just like come to me with like hey man this is what's on the docket we need uh we gotta go over this uh we need some approval on this what do you think seal the deal bro let's do it yeah it was weird yeah i think the fact that like we just had so many so yeah it's been um it's been hard i know it's been hard for you uh it's been hard for yes, me yes it has <laughs> it's been uh very very not easy i have to say we probably been going i don't know i was gonna say balls deep i was, I was like damn what's better than balls deep but i think that's all i can pick up <laughs> we dove head first into it my, my brain is still uh healing i just remember i was like damn this is like really 
this is really picking up. We were kind of ambitious. We were like, oh, maybe we should do some kind of like fundraiser thing, especially with all the light with Asian hate. But like, you know, we're approaching like a thousand dollars worth of like donations already. We talked about it in the car. I was like, yo, I don't think we're going to get like 50 bucks. <laughs> and you're like, for real? You really? I was like, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Like people are cheap. No one's listening to us. Asians but- are so cheap. Why the hell are Asians so cheap? It's just that's just how they rock, man. They're 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 cheap and, and very frugal, you know. Very quick side note, side side complaint, side rant. <laughs> yeah. If Ben and I know you by name, like we know your last name, and you don't donate to this, mm-hmm. you're dead to us. Yeah, we're gonna find you. I'm gonna go through your mail. Steal your identity. We're gonna go through your bank credit card fraud. Gonna sign a year magazine subscription under your name. Stop being a cheap agent. I don't know when this episode is coming out. If, the, if, if you're listening <laughs> to this before the end of December 2021 and still live, stop listening to this podcast right now and go donate some money. All the details are on our Instagram. There's prizes. There's everything. Donate a couple bucks. Don't be a cheap agent, please. Yeah, please don't. So going back to it, like... Yeah, this is probably the highlight of my of my year, of my life even. Yeah, let's just keep this shit going. I love it. Um, we're doing it for the for the fans. We get to say that now, right? We have the fans. We're doing it for the fans. Yeah, it's weird. You were mentioning the uh, charity thing, but I, I think that if it wasn't for the charity thing, we wouldn't have gone as public or pushed as hard. Yeah, that's true. Because I think we felt obligated given that um, we had some sponsors who were donating stuff and then we already put the message out there to try donating stuff that we I felt very obligated. I don't know if you're like Mark Cuban or like... Jordan Belford, you got a lot of sponsors. I was really surprised by it. I was like, holy crap. Like it was almost like every day I'm like hearing about someone else yep. giving you know, us it's stuff. It's weird. Like there technically would have been a couple more, you know, towards the end. Like, and then I was also a bit worried, honestly, about bringing too many prizes on and not having enough donors to even distribute all the prizes out to. You did a great job. I was like, man, Linji's like Linji is so good at begging. <laughs> it's like, sell me this pen. Yeah, we got. So, thank you so much for our sponsors, by the way. Just to every one of you, thank you for everyone that's been donating as well. Yes, thank you. I just want to do like a quick little shout out. I got permission from them. Okay, go for it. I just want to do a shout out to Ray. Thank you, Min Kyung. Thank you so much, JB. Uh, Mike, thank you so much. Grace, I'll also do a shout out for you. I believe you said it, and if you didn't, I'm so sorry. But those are just a few shout outs I wanted to say for everyone. That's a list of uh, Ben's personal friends who donated. I don't have the other full list in front of me, or, or else I would shout them all out. But maybe on a future episode, yeah. when all this is wrapped up and everything, we'll just uh, give him a shout out. Right. If um, if any of you want a shout out, like please, you know, don't be shy. We'll gladly do it. Slide into our DMs at Worst Asian Pod on all the socials, Worst Asian Pod, or if you want to shoot us an email, Worst Asian Podcast at gmail.com. Any donation, the minimum is five dollars. If you want to tip, you can tip. It's up to you. Um, you don't have Yo, to. Tipping is tipping directly to GoFundMe, so I'm not gonna be cheap. But you don't need to tip GoFundMe because that percentage <laughs> doesn't go to the charity. I'm just saying it out there. Don't don't hate me, GoFundMe. If you're gonna tip GoFundMe, an extra dollar to just donate an extra dollar to, and don't tip GoFundMe. Yeah, is that nice uh, to say? Is that okay to say? Yeah, it's, it's nice. And you're, you know, like you get, you get away with it because like, you know, you have like the palms behind you in the water. So it's like, yeah. you know. <laughs> None of that is going to make any sense. I have a Zoom background with the island, the default tropical island theme. Yeah, man. I want that. I was looking for something like that, but it doesn't have anything from my mind. So I was like, all right, my shit sucks. You got to step up your Zoom game. I do. I do. So yeah, like everything's been really great. What about you, man? Like, I know you have to have some opinions. Be honest, brutal, honest honesty about it brutal honesty about this podcast right yes uh ben could do a little bit more work let's just say that damn let it out yo shots fired (laughs) you know it's funny some people ask me like whose idea was this i mean objectively people can tell i do most of the work yeah you know without me even saying anything people can just kind of tell that but people always think it's my idea for the pot yeah dude you don't do shit oh damn no damn shots fired you're just like the you're just like the talent (laughs) the talent the talent <laughs> b-grade celebrity talent oh uh, yeah you're literally like the executive producer what was i saying I, most people when they ask me like how all this started they actually think it was my idea surprisingly this was all your idea surprisingly you know who you are bro you're like bradley cooper when a star is born was made like you directed it you starred in it and i'm just lady gaga <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. As long as I'm the tall one, that's fine by me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm a bit OCD. People know me that know I'm very o- OCD. Yeah, super. 
So when I commit to something, I really commit. Yes. The strange thing is, I don't do it because I want to succeed. <laughs> that's that's weird to say, but I, I do it to like. You if you're gonna do something, you should give it your all. You should min max everything. This is my philosophy. Please don't follow me. You should min max everything. If it works out, that's great. And if it doesn't, and you're still having fun, then you're still winning, right? But at the very least, if you're gonna do something, you do it the best that you can. And that's kind of the reason why we're here right now. This uh, Zoom episode because. We got to stick on schedule, bro. That's true. That is true. That's the biggest thing I've learned and experienced uh, doing this with you is like, oh shit, number one, like, yo, you're like a fucking beast. I'm like, all right, man, I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you next month. No, motherfucker. We're doing this, <laughs> we're doing the same time next week. I'm like, oh, are we? Oh, okay, okay. You're right. Yeah. And just like seeing like stuff like you just think of, oh, we should, what about doing this way? YouTube University. Why to you, baby? Why to you? That's uh, I got my bachelor's. You got your master's. That's what it is. <laughs> so negatives. You have any negatives about doing the podcast so far? Oh yeah, there's definitely been be some honest. negatives. Definitely been some negatives. Uh, number one is like, uh, yeah, there's times where I don't want to do it. You know, Wait, that, so that. you're you're implying there are times that you do want to do it? Yeah. Oh, very funny. Uh, very funny. Yes. Yes. And you know what it is too? Like, it's really refreshing having like our creative differences, differences, like, you know, mm -hmm. coincide. So, you know, when I say like, oh, I don't want to do like this and then on that, but you're like, no, you know, you should just do it. And then like, you always say like, you should just do something now and then we can always have it and then like think about it later. And I'm like, you know what? That's, yeah. that's, that's a really good way of putting it. It's always like, just make sure you have enough bullets in the chamber kind of thing. And, um, so yeah, there's, there's been times where, cause we do this, I would say fairly early. I mean, for my standards, it's, it's fairly early for me. Okay. To those listening, we don't do this fairly early. It is not 6 a.m., 7 a.m. We do this at, at the <laughs> yeah. earliest. We do this at 10 30 a.m. in the morning when us people, us normal people should be awake. Yes. That's probably the only gripe. So sometimes like when I'm at work the night before, I'm like, yo, I'm literally looking at my staff. I'm like, and my coworkers, I'm like, yo, we need to get the shit over with. Like right now, I need to go home. <laughs> yeah, go home and sleep. Sleep your, your two and a half hours. Yes, yes. I'm like, go. Oh. It's like, you don't understand. They're like, why? I, like, I got the pod. Are you following us? Are you listening? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. You do the pod thing. That's so cool. The other big negative for you is your Uber bill. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I mean, like, because you don't have a car up. at the moment. Shit, you're right. That does add up. Yeah, fuck. I'm, I'm literally yeah, thinking you're, about it now. <laughs> Uber needs to uh, sponsor us. I was going to say, yo, Uber, if they ever bring back Uber Pool, please, I'll take that for free, man. I'll gladly <laughs> sponsor Uber. I wish Uber was one of our sponsors. But overall, mm -hmm. it's been a blast. It's been a great ride. Just can't wait till, you know, what 2022 is going to hold. Uh, what about you? I know you definitely have your negatives. I, I could already picture what you're going to say, too. What am I going to say? Guess, guess, guess. Uh, number one, you're always fucking late. Yes. Don't ignore my DMs like like I'm a desperate hussy. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You're keep on point. <laughs> <laughs> I think like I have very little e expectations of you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I've known you long enough to know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. If Ben really wants to do this and I know going in, I'm going to do most of the work. I needed to accept that from the very beginning. And if I didn't accept it, mm. I would have broken up with you already. <laughs> We'd be gone. We'd be like exes. Couples therapy couples therapy yeah we've been like jennifer lopez and puff daddy yeah and then just run off with uh a rod and then run back to enrique i don't know where she oh no dude, she she's now. back with ben affleck now oh so benefer part two benefer part two and you know there's like a really funny clip i think they're in madison square garden he's like in a really good mood and then he whispers something in her ear right she seems like a good mood and then the next picture him smiling and she looks so miserable <laughs> I gotta send it to you. You, could, you We could definitely make that's that a, a meme for us. That's a very good comparison with uh, you and me. Yeah, I was gonna say that would be a really good meme for us. Aside from that, it's, the only other bad thing is just that I've been losing a lot of sleep and like I'm very anal about my sleep. Yo, like, I need you my, are, yeah, you are, man. You are sleep police. I am like an old man. Like when it gets to a certain point in the night, I guess, you know, I get tired and I can't even drink coffee anymore because if I drink coffee after like 2 p.m., I'm just gonna like stay up all night. Really? Yeah, my body doesn't handle caffeine that well anymore. Like, we used to, like, go out late, coffee at, like, 2 a.m. Dude, yeah, like, after dinner, we're just, like, yo, coffee, and then we just drink, like, a big-ass pot of that shit. And I just fall asleep, but I can't even do that now. I don't know. So the lack of sleep sometimes to edit all this shit out. People don't realize when we have these these episodes, I don't want to say they're well-trimmed and everything, but you and I yep. go off tangent a lot. We just start talking about random shit. Yes, we do. That, like, doesn't apply to anything yeah. for a long time. I always have to cut that shit out. 
And then number two, for whatever reason, you and I have very moist lips or moist mouths. So we <laughs> we're hydrated. So we have that. Uh, we're very hydrated, but it gives you that <laughs> kind of thing. And that's not very <laughs> pleasing to the ears. <laughs> we both do that a lot. It's funny. We have like these like Google notes that we share. Lindsay will write things to work on. Lindsay will write like things like, yo, less ums and less moisture. Less moisture. Less moisture. Keep it less moist. Less moisture is a big tip that I have. Too moist. Too moist, yo. That's going to be like my tattoo. It's like, yo, less moist. I got to say, like, for the most part, I want to say, you know, with our downloads increasing and more people, you know, following us now, I, a lot of people like our, our chemistry, you know, they're like our pick and roll. Jeremy Lin, Amaro Stoudemire, pick and roll down to a T. As long as I'm the tall one, it's fine. <laughs> as long as I'm the tall one. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good uh, feedback so far, man. So just wanted to share that with you. But Ben is very uh for those that don't get the vibe he's throwing off. Ben is very proud. Whenever he sees any numbers go in the positive direction, he's like very very proud of it. Proud and shocked. I think I'm more shocked. Like wow, <laughs> this is actually going up for real. It's it's going up still. Like wow. Very 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 mild success. There you go, man. Love it. There has to have been a lot of good stuff that happened in 2021 for the Asian community. Yes. Gun to your head. What's the best thing for the Asian community that, ha that happened this year? Shoy Itani winning the fucking MVP. Yeah, okay. That's actually pretty big. <laughs> Baseball fans out there, Shoy Otani <laughs> winning the MVP. Kind of a big deal. I think we talked about this on our previous sports episode, Asians in Sports. There's a couple, man. Oh, did you hear also a uh, shout out to um, the chick that won uh, Miss America? You heard about her? Oh, okay. I think she was Miss Alaska, and then she won Miss America, but she's, her name is Emily, I can't pronounce her last name, but she's Korean-American. So just say Park. Oh, damn. So Emily Park, we just want to say congratulations. And also, if you ever want to be on this podcast, we're going to get the wrong- We'll Miss, get your name correct. We're going to get the wrong Miss Alaska. She's gonna, this is going to be a real Emily <laughs> Park. She's going to be like, um, you guys asked about me? Uh, I'm here for my interview. Also, shout out to Miss Universe from India. Damn, gang, yo. I know, it's a, it's a big time. Yo. These pageants have a lot of uh, negatives, but the uh, fact that we're representing on the universal and uh, American scale. Yeah, that was it was a big shocker. I was like, oh, damn. So, you know, go us. Go Miss India. That's fucking amazing. Speaking of sports, the, uh, the Summer Olympics was this year in Japan. That was kind of a, kind of a flop, but still. Shout out to Japan for trying, trying your best to host the Olympics under really, really shitty conditions. Yeah. Remember those beds they gave the Olympians? It was made out of cardboard. Did you watch any of the Olympics? Uh, that's uh, I'll give it a big emphatic no. <laughs> Definitely not. Fine. It was an off year. It was kind of weird. The vibes were thrown off because there was no fans in the audience. I thought the Olympians were going to like that. fight each other. It was like during like really testy times because remember Japan was like, yo, should we do it? Should we not? It was for monetary reasons because the... Uh, the World Global Olympic Committee, whatever they're called, you know, like, like they have sponsors that they are obligated to run the event for. Yeah. So yeah. like they had no choice but to do it. And it was, it was so fucking weird because it was technically the 2020 Summer Olympics, but it was held in 2021. But all the artwork and, and stuff you saw still said 2020. Oh, yeah, you're right. Kind of like threw everything off. Damn, that's weird. But shout out to all the uh, big Asian Olympians that came out of this. Your favorite Hmong superstar. Suni Lee. That's just, that's your favorite, man. She's your favorite. There's a there's a bunch of stuff. I mean, like besides sports, is there any other uh, significant Asian uh, you know news? Maybe in the media that you were like, oh shit. Yeah, of course. Right. It was a big year for Asian cinema, both yeah, movies and TV shows. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my my dog's barking in the background. Damn it. Yeah. That's fine. Third podcast host, your your dog. But yeah, with our special guest Sam. He's an American Eskimo. We'll put a picture of Sam up on on social media. People love that uh, dog content. He'll be like our kind of like unofficial mascot. Pod dog. Pod dog. There you go, man. Look at that. Worst Asian dog. <laughs> um. So Blue Bayou. That was a great film. Was that your favorite like Asian film of this year? Blue Bayou. I think I'm gonna say yeah. I know people love Shang Chi. I'm in love with what it did to Simu Lu. Yo, he's he's a fucking rock star. Like. He's just so charismatic. Damn. Be my friend, Simu Lu. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get some real friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't count me as one of them. You need to get some other real, real friends. Yeah, I need more famous Asian friends. But there's a bunch of Asian movies this year, right? Yeah. You said Blue Bayou was your favorite. There was Shang-Chi, obviously. People are going to kill me, but I can't remember a lot of shit off the top of my head right now. Does Eternals count as an Asian-esque movie? Because half the cast was like Indian, Chinese, Korean. Yeah, yeah, sure. Does that count? 
Fuck it. We'll, we'll take gonna, it. Who we claim it? It's like calling shotgun as soon as you charge. Yeah, fuck it. Shotgun. Eternal Zero. You are. So we, we we had Eternals. We had Shang Chi. We had uh, Blue Bayou. Uh, we had that other small one with Han from Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah, and there's also uh, Squid Games. Squid Games would be like the biggest show movie of this year, right? Yeah, that, I think for this year, I think it has to be. Squid Game is the biggest thing of this year, and you could probably say it's like the biggest show period. Not even like the biggest Asian show, Asian movie. Like Squid Game was just the biggest. I want to say content, but that's not the right word. Yeah, that was that was pretty nuts. That was wild. It's like when like Gangnam Style first came out. I remember I had so many of my friends that were not Korean, but yo Ben, look, look, and they'll do the dance. I'm like, that's great. Go kill yourself. <laughs> you kind of look like Sai. Do I? It's it's these cheekbones. It's like when you were a bit uh fatter, like a bit uh, pudgier, and you just put on those sunglasses. You could have really been him. Just like clean shaven with a suit. But that whole cast of Squid Game. They all blew up. Yeah, they got more famous. They're Korean famous, and now they just got international famous. They're so easily recognized everywhere. Because you told me that main actor, the lead protagonist, he was already kind of famous already, but just in Korea. He's been in a lot of movies. Yeah, you remember when we watched Shang Chi, and I was like, "Yo, the the Chinese dad," and you're like Tony Leung. I was like, "Oh, it makes sense." I was like, "This guy is really good at acting." I was like, "Yo, this guy has like decades of like acting experience, and he just knew how to play a gangster." What's the real name of the main actor in uh, Squid Game? Uh, Kim Kyung Park. Facts? Oh, Facts? Uh, uh, no, Ch- uh, Channel Park. <laughs> For anyone tuning in, Ben is Korean. If this is your first episode, Ben is Korean. That's okay. If I'm being denounced from the Republic of Korea, I guess uh, it's going to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't know his name, do you? I'm ter- Yo, do you know what's funny? I literally, even when I'm out, I have friends of mine that are like super Korean. Sometimes, like, I know they're more Korean because they naturally like talking in Korean. Oh, like, they default to Korean. Especially when they're, like, really into it. With the guy, like, and I'm just, like, they're, like, nodding, like, uh-huh. They're, like, using their Korean names. I can't pronounce their Korean names. Do they call you Byung instead of Ben? If they're younger than me, they call me, they actually call me, like, Hyung. Or they'll call me, like, Opa. Oh, side note. I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know why. Totally yeah. random. Hyung is when you call someone that's older than you, right? Yes. Older brother, but that's... It's like a sign of respect. Respect, courtesy, that kind of thing. Okay, so my point is, I'm older than you, right? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> like, Shouldn't you call me Hyung? No, no, no. First of all, you don't get to use it if you can't pronounce it. Hyung? <laughs> Hyung? <laughs> the fuck is my Google Translate? Oh, uh, no. You can't. So you're not going to call me that? That means technically our other friends should be calling me that too. Yeah, fuck them. Oh, just for you then. No, no. Watch, I'm going to call you that, and you're going to be like, yo, this man weird. I'm going to start doing that, watch. <laughs> All right, fine. Deal. We'll see who gives up first. Do you give up uh, calling me Hyung, or do I just tell you to stop calling me Hyung? I'm just going to talk to you in Korean, too, while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> One final point about the main protagonist from uh, uh, Squid Game, the actor. I've learned since seeing him in social media now, that show did a fucking great job turning a good-looking man into a piece of shit. <laughs> that's not where i thought you were going with this <laughs> i was like no no no. what i mean is like in real life he, he's got like a lot of swag he dresses well he's like he carries himself he was like a model. so much in the show he literally looks like a bum so props to the costume design or wh- whoever's in charge of that stuff i like how you just like point him out when it's like almost everyone in that in that show looked bummy even the girl did you watch love hard the one with the uh, Jimmy O Yang on Netflix? Oh no, not yet. I kind of, I kind of didn't want to because, like, isn't he playing like a catfish guy? Does catfishing hit too close to home? Is that something that you personally have been uh, a victim of? I definitely have. I mean, I didn't catfish anyone. I hope I did. If I did, I'm so sorry. If I if I catfished you, I apologize. I had a bad hair day, and I had a lot of salt, so I was bloated. <laughs> There's a bunch of other stuff, right? You know, Kim's Convenience had their last season this year, unfortunately. Yeah. Aquafina had her second season of Nora from Queens. She's the go-to. She's she's killing it, too. From all the Asian celebrities, who do you think had the biggest bump up this year? Oh, bro, it definitely has to be Simu Liu. He came from, like, doing Kim's Convenience. You know, respectable actor. He was actually one of my favorite characters in the show, especially when he was working with his friend at the, at the car dealership, wherever they worked. Yeah. Yeah, he has to be because like after that, like 
like he hosts SNL and those like that really once a uh, funny skill like Boyang uh, Yang, just because they're Asian, they were like the first Asian to do like anything. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So in terms of like just like one person's elevation, his power ranking just went through the roof. The top performing Asian stock of 2021, Simu Liu. Or you want to say like he's the GameStop to the moon? He's the GameStop of uh, 2021 among Asian celebrities. <laughs> Diamond, Gorilla, Moon, Paper. That that's all I know. <laughs> Is that how it works? Okay, so um, biggest. Sports star this year, Asian, I would say, is a tie between Suni Lee and Shohei Otani. And uh, Ichiro Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, biggest celebrity, you would say, is Simulu. I'm going to give it to the guy from uh, Squid Games. You know what? We're in front of AA Computer, so I'm going to look up this man's name just to bring him some real... Like, I thought you were going to do that already, but yes, thank you. Squid Game Cast. This is the magic of, of being on Zoom. I have a computer in front of me. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Lee Jung Jae. Dad, that sounds so racist. That sounds so racist. No? Said. Lee Jung no? Jae. Why you gotta say it like that, bro? How would you pronounce this? <laughs> Jung Jae. Jung Jae. Whoa, right? whoa, what's with the hard J's, bro? Pronounce his name? Lee Jung Jae. That's exactly what I said. In the same tone, too. No, you're being super racist. You're like, Lee Jung Jae. I'm like, whoa, bro. That's so aggressive. I don't even know what a Korean accent is. Someone described me as when Korean people speak, we say it in one exact same tone every time. <laughs> yeah so if you just mumble anything like that it sounds kind of korean if you just mumble it in one flat tone and you don't pronounce the r's then that's korean right there there you go you gotta it's a hard r la uh so you give it to square look at us i pick simulu you pick Lee Jung Jae. i'm trying to think what well, well, is there any other things we should um we should tackle there is probably a ton of other Asian produced, Asian uh, starred shows and movies that we are really just forgetting off the top of our head right now. You know, staying on brand, that's all we got. But Ben, in 2021, I discovered my love for K-pop. Yeah, I know. I think that's true. Oh, BTS. BTS is another one we should have. BTS killed it this year, but they've been killing it for years, right? Yeah. The whole wave with K-dramas this year, with K-pop this year, and with Squid Game, and like, it's like the thing I said before, you know, rising tides raise all boats, so like, it's all coming up together, right? Yeah, look at, I gotta give you a, a round of applause for that. Dropping those facts, yo, look at that. Do you listen to any K-pop? Honestly. Nah, I don't. But if I see like a video, I like watch it. Like I was recently uh, listening to like some CL. I like her style and I like her, she has like a lot of swag. You know, so like I like watching what she's like up to now because she's been in the game for a while and she's been. Uh, Is that your favorite K-pop artist? Favorite artist? I don't know about favorite, but she's actually yeah, she she's one of my favorite like just people, her fashion, her style, you know that kind of thing. I like it. Okay, fine. All right, Ben, let's uh, piss off some people. I'm gonna give you a bunch of Asian K-pop groups. You give me the hard sucks or great. That's it. That's all you can say. Sucks or is great? Damn, that's fucked up. No rationalizing your your opinion. You just tells me sucks or great. All right, fine. BTS. They're, they're, they're great. Girls Generation. Oh, man. Great for sure, bro. Big Bang. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Big Bang. Greats, great. Blackpink. Oh, definitely Blackpink. Greats, man. <laughs> yeah, they get two greats. Radiohead. Greatest K- uh, <laughs> greatest K-pop artist of, <laughs> of all time, Radiohead. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Uh, who's this band? Red Velvet. Do you know who that is? Is it like an old school band? Like rock band? It says 2014. It's a K-pop group. I don't even know who they are, but I'm going to say great because they're my favorite uh, dessert. Okay, go. Shiny. Oh, man. They're great at sucking. I fucking... No, oh, no. I know who they are. Yo. <laughs> Yo, there's like this one music video of them, right? I swear to God. I think they're drinking milk and dancing sexy. Yo, what are they doing? I felt like violated watching it. Did we find the, the one K-pop group that you despise? <laughs> no, there's definitely a few. I, I got to say I'm probably biased towards... Uh, some male groups um but shiny oh man they are just oh man yo i'm gonna show you show you some of the shit you're gonna be like what is this there you go sucks you really did your research you did your research i have a computer in front of me today because we have the zoom call so i have great research today today i am literally bringing the straight facts from google Uh, okay what else we got um so we talked about you know the great uh the great things in review of 2021 um Let's go over some of the bad. You know, with the good, you got to take the bad. So, do you have any? Well, the whole Asian hate shit, still, again, right? Still. It's not going to go away. I mean, that's by far, like, the worst continuous crap of 2021 for the Asian community. Yeah, that's true. 
I think I'm just so sick and tired of seeing all these videos all the time. Like the cell phone footage stuff of like this person getting harassed or this person getting beat or... Oh yeah, like the CCTV footage of like, you know... Yeah, it's like all this crap. I'm just like tired of seeing that. That's true. I don't blame you though. You have any bad things that happen? It has to be the Asian hate thing for sure. Just try to live your life without having expectations of others. Yeah. What's that thing that they say? Pem comparison is the enemy of happiness. <sighs> Are we technically social media? We're content creators, right? Okay. So like, you know how they're like saying, you gotta be careful with social media. A lot of it's like bad for you. I just hope people out there aren't, I don't want to say hypnotized, but I don't want them, I don't want um, people out there feeling uh, less of themselves because of what they're viewing and stuff out there too. There's a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. Yeah, that's been kind of bad because when you're stuck at home during quarantine or, you know, just you have nothing better to do sometimes than to just to constantly scroll through social media. We always mention it like self-care. You mentioned it before. You're kind of joking, but you're ser dead ass serious is make sure you're sleeping. Get enough sleep, like good quality sleep. I've gotten so much better sleep. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel so much better. All these past couple of days because you've been sick. Oh, dude, like I can't stress it enough. Yeah, just give yourself a break sometimes. That's all. And um, if you are giving yourself a break, give us a listen and a follow and a like. There's uh, nowhere where you're not allowed to self-plug yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Plug away everywhere. Let's get on to the favorite segment. And this is the last segment of the year. Ranting and raving. You got anything good? You got anything bad? I finally took your, uh, your recommendation and started watching One Punch Man. One Punch Man, the anime? The anime, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 pretty good. I'll probably definitely watch that. I'm definitely gonna also start watching One Piece, even though I heard it's like a thousand episodes. Nah, fuck that shit. No, yo, so yo, this is the thing. So I remember One Punch Man being like it was out for a while. I went to go like check on like, oh how many how many seasons are there? You know, just just a look. Like they just started the third one, but apparently there was like a four year gap where they didn't do shit. I think it's two seasons only. Can't remember. Yeah, it's only two seasons so far. I, within a five year span so I guess if I had to rant is yo pump out the content bro what's going on bro you actually liking it though yeah it, it has like a very uh, it, I forget what you call it there's like there's like a philosophy about it it's the whole meaning of life would you want to live forever or be invincible oh cause then life gets boring right and it's funny cause like the you know main protagonist Saitama that's what he wants he can't find that rush I had no idea what to expect at all the fact that it has like a deeper meaning, like a dark, deeper meaning. It's funny how like they make each villain seem like they're mad powerful. <laughs> and like they give like a huge backstory with every other character. It's, it's such high buildup for the villains. Yeah, but the main character is like so like cuts to the chase and fucks them all up. It's, it's fucking hilarious. So, I mean, for those that haven't watched the anime, One Punch Man is pretty much the title is self-explanatory. Yeah. It's just a guy who's super OP, super overpowered, just beats everyone in one punch it's a it's it's a good show so yeah that i'm glad i i, I got to uh, splurge on that what about you do you have any rants rants or reviews or this is a bit random and like i don't want to end the year off on a sad note but i was like yeah. i was like skimming through netflix last time or some other streaming service but like you remember anthony bourdain oh yeah dude i fucking miss anthony bourdain you know, like how I'm not into that whole celebrity culture and everything. You know, people that like fangirl, fanboy over their celebrities and shit like that. But like Anthony Bourdain, I fucking loved his books. And I love like the way that he carried himself through all the uh, different shows that he had. Yeah. And, like the way that he like, it was like less about food sometimes and, and like more just about the cultures and the people that he, that he met. And like there was always like a deeper backstory and like a deeper meaning to like all the stuff that he was trying to show you. But yeah. Damn, I, I wish this guy was like still here. You know, it's uh, you know it's crazy. Um, I remember you were watching a lot of Anthony Bourdain stuff. I remember that. I was watching a lot. Like people don't realize he also narr narrated a lot of other cooking documentaries and stuff. Oh yeah, you know that voice. It's, he was a big figure. He was like he was like the people chef. So more than a chef. For anyone that hasn't read his books, Kitchen Confidential, as a non mm. restaurant person, I fucking love that book. Good recommendation. I like that. One of his last books too, Medium Raw. So, random point, um, I wish I had a cheerier rant, but for some reason, I just remembered Anthony Bourdain and just made me um, kind of like miss his whole uh, thing. Yeah, rest in peace, man, to a legend. I actually saw him once in real life. No way, for real? This was like when I was working on the Upper East Side, like at the pet shop, and I was just walking from the train to the pet shop. This was 100% him, because at the time, he lived on the Upper East Side, so like 
fucking saw the guy across the street and like, I just stopped and I looked at him like and my first thought was yo this motherfucker is mad tall <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, weird show. Hopefully, it doesn't sound weird to you, but it's been weird for us because we're not here in person for the first time, and we're both kind of sick. Because you miss me. (laughs) Nope, don't miss you, but we're both kind (laughs) of sick. You know, this is actually nice. If we can make the audio work, it's nice to not actually have to see you. Oh, wow. This was was cool, so, you know, at least now we know. If this does work out, we can definitely make this, like, the backup plan. Hopefully, this works out. Just come back from Hawaii, dude, all right? No one's going to get that joke if they don't see my background. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's still, he's still got the Hawaii background on the Zoom thing. We should do an on-location episode in the future in, in Hawaii. Oh, man, dude. Yo, Uber, make it happen. Sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor. Someone please just sponsor us a vacation. Just one vacation. <laughs> that's all we want. They're going to sponsor you on a vacation to like Catskills, New York. <laughs> They're going to be like, yo, you ever been to Staten Island? <laughs> they have the best pizza, you know what I'm saying? And I'll go to Joe Prosciutto. (laughs) We'll catch you next time in the brand new year. But in the meantime, happy new year. Stay safe. Next week, we'll be back with an episode. Um, I'm too sick to think of what episode it'll be about, but it'll be good. Definitely. For sure. Hopefully. Uh, Happy holidays again. Happy holidays. Happy new year. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Peace.